All right, and welcome back to the channel. This is Rob from 99 Ways Crypto. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove liquidity using PancakeSwap. This will work for any mining pool, no matter what platform it's on, as the steps are very similar. So if you've been watching the channel, I've been farming EMP eShares on the EMP money site. Just a quick recap, farming is when you pair up liquidity tokens and deposit them in a farm to earn yield or daily rewards. But what I really want to show you is how to remove the liquidity done by separating the liquidity tokens that were paired together into it. If you're into making passive income or into DeFi finance, it's probably going to be in your best interest to subscribe to the channel. And if you do, make sure you hit the bell icon so you get notified of our new content. We're making it on a daily basis to a weekly basis. Um, I'm dropping strategies, insights into De DeFi projects and crypto in general. Um, so the least you can do if you get some value out of this is at least give me a thumbs up. That would be uh, great and it helps reach other people just like you. All right, let's uh, get right into it. As I was saying a little earlier, I've been staking the EMP and eShare tokens in a liquidity pool in EMP money finance uh, in the farm here. So what happened here is a lot of people obviously got into this eShare and EMP farm and what that did was pull down the daily APR rate. As you can see, it's only 0.48. So I figured out I was better off pulling that out and putting it into an um, alternative farm. So I wanted to know and understand how I could separate those tokens and that's what I'm going to show you. One thing that I was struggling to figure out uh, myself, I thought this might make uh, good video content. So the first step obviously is to claim and withdraw uh, your LP tokens um, from whichever farm you've got them staked in. So in this case, in EMP money, it was very quick and easy to just hit the claim and withdraw, approve the request through MetaMask, and then once that has completed, it will go into your MetaMask wallet. And then what you want to do is go over to PancakeSwap, and from there, that's where we'll be able to separate the tokens. All right, the first thing we we'll do is go up to trade, then go down to liquidity, and then you'll see that if there's no liquidity found, you need to go find other LP tokens, click on that. And then all you need to do simply is go down to the drop down. In this case, I'm gonna put EMP and then um, eShare and look for it in the drop down, whatever the token is that you're using, click on that and then create, click create pool. Okay, so if you go back up to trade, liquidity, you'll now see the EMP and eShare. Our liquidity pool is now in the drop down. Okay, so now I'm just gonna repeat the same process, but this time I'm gonna add uh, EMP and ETH. So here we go, we just look for the EMP token, click on that, go down to the second drop down, type in ETH till we find it, got it there. It's loading. Once it ta takes a little bit of time to load, the next thing you want to do uh, once this appears is add. And then you've got to manage this pool. Once you click on that, it pretty much is done. Now you'll see I've got all three farms in the liquidity area. Next thing you want to do is hit the remove button and what this will do is we'll separate the EMP from the eShare and then you want to go up to max or whatever percentage you want and in my case I want to completely separate this liquidity pool so I click on max, I scroll down to the bottom, hit enable yep and that's done so once we've done the enable you'll need to sign into your MetaMask. Once you've approved that, you hit remove, and then we need to hit confirm. 
and then it starts to do the confirmation you just once again need to confirm or reject in this case we're going to confirm it um, and then it starts the process now uh, I like to go over to bscan and uh, check the the progress status so you can just check on the pending here um, if it doesn't pop up soon enough I usually just refresh the page until you see that it says that it's been successful there we go and now it's now you know your transaction has been successful those two liquidity pools or tokens have now been separated and that completes basically the process now that I've separated the liquidity from EMP and eShares um, I then went ahead and changed my strategy as I said because the APR was not that great and I split, split it across the detonator and of course back into the other EMP ETH farm because at the moment the daily APR is 2.53 so I split what I had up and as you can see here I've got um, $43 American or US um, in that pool now but also I split um, more of that ETH and eShares so what I did was I sold off some of my eShares that I had and purchased more Ethereum with, with those eShares and put it in to the detonator over here so as you can see I now have $241 in the detonator remember it is it is locked in here the liquidity is locked which is healthy for the for the system the guys at EMP money today said that there's you know the LP uh, farms that they have currently are specific to the protocol and there's no plans to create different uh, LP farms um, because the more farms that they build it takes away from the overall health of the project as people keep diversifying their money across the platform so it's better to keep uh, it the number of those farms a little bit smaller um, so they won't be creating any more unless there's a there's a very good reason for it um, but having said that AJ who's one of the main guys said that he's not completely against it uh, which shows the flexibility of the team to do what they need to keep the health of the project running so for example they created um, I think it's been removed now but they created when when we went under peg they created this EMP deposit EMP to eShare um, farm it's now since been removed but it shows you again the the I guess the flexibility they have to be able to bring back the, you know um, the protocol back up to peg so as you see as I had the ability to split those um, LP tokens I was able to create EMP and ETH ones and bring it into the detonator um, which is now obviously uh, getting at least minimum 1% a day um, and all the other benefits of the detonator such as the lottery prize now somebody won uh, 17,000 US dollars um, today um, lucky lucky person and uh, t tomorrow's one will be eight at this point 18,000 a little bit of news um, from the EMP money uh, after the detonator successful launch yesterday they've been through a um, entire 24-hour cycle now and everything's working uh, beyond their expectations um, in fact they underestimated uh, some of the sustainability of this contract that's um, been out for a day or so now due to the fact that they've implemented automatic compounding on all the largest depositors and the lottery winner um, there is very very uh, little drain on the overall pool which is fantastic uh, they thought it would be a UI problem um, but realized that the pool had almost exactly the same as what was in it yesterday and this is uh, what they were talking about there was that the lottery pool had almost the same amount of money in it so that shows the sustainability of the of the project that the money is still coming into it so this means that um, the, all the new volume will be 
continue to grow the pool and the rewards will grow and the dividends will grow. So um, that benefits everybody, um, obviously, in the community. The team now is planning a massive liquidity injection um, probably sometime tomorrow. Um, it's probably going to be a random time, which will increase everybody's instant rewards um, as well as the overall pool. So we need to stay tuned for further announcements on that. So the best way to obviously keep growing this project and getting more money into it is to um, spread the word. Um, you know, they're going to have some massive marketing coming into this into this uh, platform very soon. But, you know, obviously the best way of um, getting this out there is by word of mouth. Um, and because this, the debt note is so sustainable and other referral rewards, um, we think it's a great entry point. Um, into EMP, the EMP ecosystem. So let's get the word out there. Um, don't forget the referral link. So uh, by using that and sharing that with other people, you yourself will receive um, a percentage of, of deposit, of their initial deposit. Um, yeah, and it helps the whole community keep going. So don't forget to use that. I'll drop my referral link in the, in the uh, description below. So if you want to get into EMP money, click on that link, and away you go. It's a fantastic protocol so far. All right, thanks.